might just be a brown people thing, but like when you're sick, they give you brandy. Like even if as a child, they give you brandy to I drink. I think there may be some alcoholism problem there. I'm <laughs> just trying to get you started. Yeah. Like, is this how Steve Jobs went? Yeah, dude, because he didn't get any treatment for his cancer because it was like all about like the natu- I natural- I think I have cancer. <laughs> Welcome back to Critical Banter, where we take the best bits from your favorite late night shows and package them into a podcast. For today's episode, we'll be playing Finish the Lyric and we'll be doing the relationship segment Unsolicited, Unqualified and Uncomfortable. Before that, throughout the week, we've got me and Miguel. We have Senny. Hello, hello. We have Kush. Yes, sir. And we finally have an in-house relationship gr- certified love guru. <laughs> certified. Christina, how are you today? I'm good. How are you guys? I was going to say, Rose looking very <laughs> fine today. <but laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We've done also a little bit of a swap. You're sitting in the row position. Yeah, it's How does it uncomfortable. Feel? Did you Unsolicited look and unqualified. Look at the folded arms, dude. He's, he, he's feeling a bit tense. Oh, man. This is not my position. I don't like it. So Side profile. How's it looking? <laughs> it's weird. Well, listeners won't know that we spent the first half an hour just deep cleaning that side of the table and getting rid of any sus stains I can feel and smell a few things that <laughs> I really don't want to say what I smell. But it is very good to have a proper relationship expert on. What do you mean proper? Telling Look, me you and Kush aren't qualified to give relationship advice? I feel like Kush's relationship advice always ends with some kind of variation of telling the person to kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of genocide so commentary. <laughs> or oh, mass genocide. <laughs> Which, you know, if that's not your thing, we actually have a proper <laughs> expert on who can give you some actual advice. And we'll get to that soon. But we do with all guests. Our first question is, Christina, what is your rarest moment? Maybe not of all time, something that's happened maybe recently. Do you want to tell us about Hmm. I think one thing that I get a lot of hate on is using a knife and fork to eat wings. That's that haram. I don't know. What I just don't want to get my hands dirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So wait, yeah. What, so wait, boneless, bone chicken, everything you're going to eat with a knife and fork. Yes. Why? Because I don't want to get my hands dirty. KFC, wicked wings. But I'm taking that home. F- wait, what? So even wicked wings you're eating with knife and fork? Yeah. What about popcorn chicken? <laughs> oh, depends if I have a fork available. Oh, so you would prefer oh. to actually eat it with- the- How would you cut a piece of popcorn chicken? Like the fork would no. be the popcorn chicken. <laughs> I just use a fork and eat it. Oh, okay. Yeah. The wing is a hard piece of item to dissect. That's a lot of like, yeah. it's very finicky. Like it's so much easier and efficient just to pick it up and eat it and like using your- like It's not be- like a steak, you just cut. Exactly. You need to get around all the bones. Exactly. That's the fun is going caveman style and just like using your hands and getting up, like getting the sauce all over your and hands. You mm, the I disagree. Exactly. Yeah, wet wipe. Yeah. KFC do give the, the wet wipes after as well. I haven't mm. just seen like those TikToks of like the people who eat the wings. One go, right? Is that the one you Oh, no, about? I was going to say the ones like they eat like the juicy wings oh. and then their hands are all covered and they all like high five each other oh. and they're like sliding like the sauce uh. all over each other's <laughs> hands. They dap each other up with the saucy hands. But yeah. I have seen the ones where they eat it in one go. Have you tried that technique? Actually, I failed. <gasps> mis- I almost choked. Yeah. Like, that's how hard it is. It doesn't is. seem easy. Have you seen those like ones where he gets like the wicked wing and like the guy- vertical, eats, right? And, yeah, he just pulls it off. It just Could never be me. I can Loki do that. <gasps> really? Not super clean, but I can Loki. Right. We know what next week's segment is. Wicked wing cleansing. Yeah. Testing. Fork is outrageous. Like, let's put that out there. That's outrageous. That's me. I've never seen that as well. I haven't seen someone eat like Imagine especially wicked wings. Going going to your KFC, <laughs> your local KFC. <laughs> someone orders a zinger box and they bring out because they don't give you a fork. <laughs> you got a BYO. <laughs> <brings> out a <laughs> so do you walk around everywhere with a knife and fork, just ready to go? No, I'll take it home and eat it. Because <laughs> you're too ashamed to do it in front of other people. No, or? I just don't have a knife and fork handy. But let's say, what if you went to like a like a bar or whatever, and they've got like you know, wings. Yeah. Like, so would you get a knife and fork? There I'll in ask front of a- for a knife and fork. That's outrageous. You know, this makes me feel a little bit better because you know, whenever I go to a restaurant that requires chopsticks, Sandy, I'm always like, can I get the, can I that's get the different mm-hmm. though. Like, that's just cause you're, you can't incapable. use the, yeah. Yeah. But if I was in the same restaurant and then it was with wings and then Christina said, can I get a fork for that? But you know what? I'm all right. I'm doing all right. I'm doing A-OK. <laughs> Thank you. You're one of the better people in the restaurant. <laughs> exactly. Well, obviously we brought you on here as a relationship guru. I guess our listeners would want to know what, what's your credentials? Have you had any success stories in the past of setting people up? Um, no, but I think it's all written in the stars. So you have no credentials whatsoever? <laughs> nope. This is not what our listeners want to hear. They've written in, you know, with their heartfelt stories. They want to hear okay. some great advice. Mm. You're going to give them nothing. Maybe simply because I'm a female. Oh, hey, 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 That's- hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we brought you on. This podcast is about equality. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We don't it's about Sorry. diversity. Not quality, just equality. Equality. Quality. <laughs> Long <laughs> on. <laughs> 
written well, in the stars, you reckon? Astrology will help me oh with this. God. I'm glad you brought up astrology because I want to I want to explore some of your icks and red flags in uh-huh. guys or even yourself. So mm. when you're looking in a guy, what, what are some icks you're looking for that just immediately turn you off? What if they're I, into astrology? Let's start with Yeah, that. exactly. Okay, double standards here. If a guy's into astrology, I'm like, what are you doing? See, no, you can't, do, you can't yes. do that. You can't, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? Why? What's so bad if a guy's into astrology? Where have you gotten this information from? Probably some other girl. No, what if they've Googled it? What if their parents okay. are into it? What okay, if they are okay. into personally, into astrology, nah. the stars and the moons? Then we can talk about something. So what are some other icks you have then? I think you guys mentioned it a few weeks back or something. Male selfies. That is such an ick. As in, so like in front of a mirror or when you just put it up there and you try and take a selfie of yourself? When you're doing like the front yeah. on I, I 100% agree. Yeah. With that. I think we dissected front camera was haram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Back camera was Back camera was okay. Mm-hmm. It's like mirror selfies at the gym or something. That's yeah. Okay. Is and all it those more guys or on- less of an ick if they're good at front selfies as well? Because you know, there are people that are shit at selfies. I don't mind like an ironic front selfie one. Ironic. Like, like a you put okay. like for the boys. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. A, you know, you're putting one of those silly filters on and you put it, you send it to the boys. I don't mind yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, if you're posting it on like on a story or Instagram, or whatever, I, it's- Instagram I'm posts. A lot when of things. it's not for the boys, ick. Big, big ick. Massive ick. All those guys on the DMs. With the front selfies. Wait, do you get people send you? Yeah, uh, like the random ones where it's like, hi, beautiful. Like, I don't know. I can so those are some credentials. I must say, we're hearing some yeah, credentials. I was going to say, I've never once had a person send me a front com- uh, what a, front camera selfie. What about you, Kush? Have you got- uh, Or otherwise, have, sends you, it. have you <laughs> said I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and what about in yourself then? Do you have any self-proclaimed icks that you have or any red flags in you? Apart think, from the astrology uh, stuff. Okay, I was going to say that. Apart from the astrology, you can't use that. <laughs> Astrology girls, that, we that is the biggest that was a big red, red flag. flag. For me, it's a huge one. Mm. No offense. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Fine, offense. Yeah. No, I'm self-aware. Good. Mm. I don't know. Are there any um, red flags well, flying the, around the, here? The knife and fork for chicken okay. wings, again, is a very okay. strange thing. <laughs> but I wouldn't call it, a, it's an eek, but not a red flag. Yeah. One we've heard is running for the bus. Do you run for the bus? No, not really. In desperate times, maybe, but that would kind of be an ick as well. I heard um one of our friends, she was running for the train. She was wearing heels and she was running for the train and she slipped and she like tore her ligament oh. in her le- oh, foot. Oh my God. It's so not worth that's it. like a double ick. Seeing someone run <laughs> and, then, <laughs> someone get and then get injured. Actually, that was a triple because she missed the train as well. No. <laughs> <laughs> triple. She got cocked as well. <laughs> Just so. wait for the next one. That's can, what I, the thing is, yeah, yeah. So I asked her, oh, were you running late? She's like, no, I was actually early. <laughs> Why were you running then, you idiot? So yeah, she, that was a triple whammy for her. So if I saw that, I would have laughed. I wouldn't have helped at all. <laughs> I would have just watched this poor woman go down. <laughs> That's what, if you're wearing heels, I think, again, just in general, if you're wearing heels, don't run. Mm, Prepare, just stroll. you know, early. As she was, she was early. It made no sense. Exactly, silly. And even if you're late, so what? A queen is never late, as they say. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Who are you to talk? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Kush, <laughs> Kush, what have you been up to? I um, I wasn't here last week. Um, I had true. the flu, contrary to the description where you suggested it may have been SARS. <laughs> SARS cov <laughs> 2. <laughs> but it wasn't. I got the flu. I did three tests, two PCRs and a rat. All came out negative. But the flu wiped me out. Completely wiped. Worse Bird than flu? No. Swine flu? I could have been for those first two days. I was gone. I had all the symptoms. All of them. I was wow. seeing things. You know those times where like sometimes you close your eyes and you see like little white dots for like a, a quick second because you're looking too quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not the flu, man. That's LSD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had like that for a good 20 seconds, just nonstop seeing dots everywhere. Yeah. It, it was a very so, weird experience. Did you go to the doctor at any point in any of this? Nah, I'm a fan of the, let the natural body take out the- You're natty, bro. What do you yeah. call that? A naturopath? You're a naturopath. Well, I call it Dude, antibiotics, they, they ruin your immune system. Let, let nature How long were you work. sick for? How many weeks? Yeah, a week, a uh, week and a half. You at least two, I swear to God. Yeah, it was-, it no, was we, were, we were playing FIFA a lot like at the other night. Yeah. And then there's like five of us. And we're playing and they were like, Kush hasn't spoken in a while. Mm. And they just didn't speak. And then all of a sudden you hear <laughs> <laughs> slobbering all over his mic. <laughs> Pass me the ball. Uh, yeah. like, Kush, just go see a doctor. Get some medicine, please. No, Have some respect for yourself. I'm not a fan of the antibiotics. I think this might be because it's my my dad who's always been like- Anti-vax. Mm. No, 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 not, not that. 
<laughs> no, he's all about the vax. He's, he's anti, just, you know, not the vax. Anti for very certain types of medicine. He's very much like, if your body can do it, if your body can fight back, let it be. Your body's going to grow and learn from it. And I'm like, how do you know this? He's like, let it be. And nature does its work. And I'm like, I back that with things like a headache. Yeah, yeah. obviously headache's different. No, if, if you have like, a headache, I ain't taking Panadol. I'm letting it. No, I'm trying to like sleep it off or drink water yeah, exactly. or something. No, but like when you're having a full blown you But know, flu breakdown. is another. So you're every having- time you have a flu, you go to the doctor, you're getting antibiotics. Yes. Well, I get the flu shot because I'm a I didn't responsible know human. You could get antibiotics for the flu. Yeah, I think they just flu is a virus. Flu is a virus. Yeah, so like you can't a get a viral infection, for it. basically. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, so you can't. You anyway. can't. There's no you can get right. Some sort okay. Of rem- remedy mm. um, medicine. I thought you just get like um cold and flu tablets. I think that's it. You just yeah. take a cold and flu. Oh, even just that. Sweat it Did out. You even try that. No, I didn't even take any other strepsils. Dude, strepsils. <laughs> so so you didn't take. Anything. No, I, I had, um, there's a mixture that's passed down from generation to generation Here in the Kundra go. family. What is it? Lemon and ginger. <laughs> a bit of ginger, a bit of cinnamon, a bit of honey, mixed into this like brown paste. It tastes disgusting, but it mm. soothes the throat completely. It soothes the throat. Brother, you can get strepsils for $5 from <laughs> you Woolworths. You get a 12 same for five thing. Bucks. I have the ingredients at home. I'm cooking. <laughs> you know what's another thing that I found out? Like, I don't know if you guys, this might just be a brown people thing, but like when you're sick, they give you brandy. Like even if as a child they give you brandy to I drink, I think there may be some alcoholism problem there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to get you started. Because yeah. like, if you have a sore throat, they give you brandy, and apparently, like the the warm, like it because it burns, like it helps oh, with the sore throat. Tinies. I don't know if that's true. So when did you recover from this? Um, it was the fourteenth day when you guys went to the fourteen. Yeah, I, I was out. We for back it. in 2020. <laughs> 2021. It was it was pretty bad. Fourteen, like. Did the rest of your family get sick as well? My mom, I got my mom sick. And my mom's got it worse. She's been completely. Did she go to a doctor at least? No, nah, no, nah, she's also. <laughs> Bro, <Bruh>, you guys. <laughs> Jesus. Isn't this how Steve Jobs went? Yeah, dude, because he didn't get any treatment for his cancer because it was like all about like the natu- I don't natural. Think I have cancer. I think- <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the implication. <laughs> so you Thanks for clarifying that. No, the point was that Steve Jobs also was a naturopath and in the end it got him. <laughs> well, there are certain things that aren't obviously. <laughs> If I have symptoms of cancer, I think I'm going to go to my nearest hospital. You'd hope so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to let nature do its work there. Oh, my days. But you did mention that you recovered on the day that Manny and I went to a comedy show. So for listeners who might remember a few weeks ago, we had Chilsey on um, and he runs the Magic Mike Comedy here in Sydney and they had their fifth birthday on Wednesday and he gave us free tickets. The good man. What a, Absolute what a legend. Man. Um, so he invited me, Manny, Kush and Ro. But obviously, Kush, as he said before, was... Well, to be honest, if you took medicine, you might have actually been fine. <laughs> you might have been fit in time. You know what? J- just really quickly on that. I said I didn't want to flew up the man's anniversary, which I thought was just great, man. Oh, you're great, doing great that. move. And no, then, but that, that's it, a great move. But in the first place, you could have, you could have not been flewed up by that day. No, but then Ro, Ro said something in the chat, which I found a little bit dicey. What did he say? Well, he said that a person his family member, you know, maybe getting the flu, potentially COVID. And he's like... If I'm on the mend, I'll see, you know, if I can come. He gave an opportunity that he would come, but he shouldn't have 100%. The guy was in trouble. Well, yeah, he wasn't sure. But in the end, yeah, I think he took the sensible option. No, he because he come. couldn't. Because <laughs> someone in his family got COVID. He yeah, was actually yeah, yeah. legally restricted. That's why. Well, then they're changing the laws. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So Kush and Ro didn't come. So we had to find two other people to come with us who had to pretend to be part of TCB. So when we were there introducing ourselves to like all the comedians and whatnot. Hang on. We were getting introduced. Like sorry. That's a key sorry, detail sorry. to make. <laughs> but yeah, so we were meeting people and then they thought the other two people there were part of TCB oh, as no. well. <laughs> so now we're up to six, me- seven members at this point. It's, we're just growing every week. Um, but no, big shout out to Chilsey. And I think we might be getting some of the comedians from that night on as guests in the next few weeks. So Excited this is for just that. It's a Chilsey appreciation podcast. It really is. Go we- on Chilsey's Instagram account. <laughs> you see Sen and Kush's head on 90% of the recent true. posts. What a man. But yeah, I look forward to that in the next few weeks. Alrighty, nephews and nieces. Today, the game is Sen and Kush's favorite. Finish the lyric. Today, I have picked out. Some of the most popular lyrics, some of the most popular songs, and the most popular lyrics within them. So you can pick the most popular whatever, bro. Me and Kush ain't getting this shit. <laughs> well, then Christina should be in for an easy win, then, right? Ooh, okay. is, that, is there a round where I'm playing Kush? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> we've seen that before. We're not having that. And Kush might have to cut that out in the edit. <laughs> <laughs> Horrendous two idiots staring at each other. All right, I as I said, I picked some songs today. We'll be doing 
you buzz in and you finish the lyric. Oh, okay. Love so that. whoever gets it first, you buzz in and you finish the lyric. I'm going to need some buzzer sounds. So the only time you'll be hearing my buzzers when I create it and that's <laughs> it. So Kush, we'll start with you. What is your sound of the day? Uh, Ramadan Mubarak. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. That's- <laughs> Say less. What is yours, Sani? <laughs> What's new? And Christina, what is yours? Um, beep. Simple. 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 Dare I say the best one? Because <laughs> you'll be easy to get in. You missed the point of this, Christina. You're meant to come up with an outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are we ready? Yep. All righty. The first one. She told me that I'm not enough. What the fuck? Do you want the next lyric? This is Post Malone. I know that. I unfortunately haven't listened to Post Malone in the longest time. I have, but I'm so bad with lyrics. Lovely, Miguel. Give us <laughs> the next line. Would you like? Uh, would you like the song name? Uh, that even she help? told me. I, I fall apart. It is uh, I fall apart by Post Malone. This is the first. Do I get any lyric. points for that? Can we hear the Sorry, lyric again? Sorry, I fall apart. Post Malone. You'll get half a point if you get the. If, but that's if no one gets the lyric. <sighs> okay, then I'm happily just to take a knee and watch you two not get the lyric for this one. I'll give you the next lyric. Actually, why? Why does? Might as well. You got to get the lyric after. She told me that I'm not enough, and she left me with a broken heart. Fuck! I actually did know that. Ah, <laughs> uh, Christina. Something, something, and it was all my fault. I get it no, right. You can't pay. You that. gotta get the something something. I will uh, tell you. you I'll tell you the line ends in it's all my fault and it's all my fault. Uh, she called me twice. Something. You know what? That's got that's what as close it? as we're gonna get. So the lyric, the whole lyric is she told me that I'm not enough and she left me with a broken heart. She fooled me twice. Uh, and it's all my fault. So I will give that yeah, to no, you. It's close enough. Close, okay. Closer than okay. these two boys would have ever gotten. Just one word away from it. I'll exactly. Give it. Alrighty, next one. I've been a G, throw up the L. Are uh, any of those words? What? You haven't heard this song everywhere? No. I played it to you in the car the other day, Sunny, and you said you hated it. It's so. all over TikTok, Instagram. Oh, I don't listen closely to the lyrics. All right, Christina, I've been a G, throw up the L. Sex in the AM. Oh, it exactly. absolutely is. Have you heard First Class by Jack Harlow Kush? Have you heard yeah. Glamorous? I haven't heard any of those words. You haven't heard First Class by Jack Harlow? I think Jack Harlow's mid, bro. He's you so think he's oh, mid? Yeah. Oh, wait. Her, like no. looking like appearance wise or his music wise? Music. I didn't listen to one song with oh, that. Oh, it slaps. That's a hot slaps. take from you. How about that his energy? Fun. Yeah, no. Nah. I I, I've only listened to one song and I was out. What song was that? Was What's Poppin? No. On the back SUVs. of the Warzone fucking. Was that him? SUV. Yeah, I had that as my Warzone <laughs> track. Wait, was it Warzone or Fortnite? One of the two. It was Fortnite. <laughs> Either way, that might be my only listen. And you don't like it? Nah, I wasn't fair. Well, you're in zero points anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Christina, two, two nil, nil. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Pride is on the line, boys. Oh, I forgot to mention the loser has to eat the world's hottest hot sauce. <laughs> no, we're not bringing that back up. <laughs> we are. We're done with that evil. We are. I bought a new one and oh, the loser will sake. eat it. Next one. She said, what you know about love? Beep. <laughs> I think. Go on. I got what you need. That is absolutely <sighs> correct. Yay. It is What You Know About Love by Pop Smoke. Oh, I, heard, I know that song. See, Do you know the TikTok dance? I was just going to say, I was gonna say What You Know <laughs> About Roll. <laughs> now that's a bank. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> I think we've already done that song in yeah, this game. Have, yeah. All righty. Three, nil, nil. Come on, do better. Next one. <laughs> Jealousy, turning saints into the sea. Oh, Mr. Brightside. Sue, Mr. Brightside, the killers. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I'm just hoping neither of you know the lyrics. So at least get half a point. <laughs> Come on, Sen. You should know. Well, I've heard you belt this out numerous I have, times, but I've only ever done it when I'm drunk. You give me a few drinks before I remember <laughs> these lyrics. With the lyrics up on the screen. With the lyrics up on the screen as well. <laughs> what is the next line? Give us, give us a bar. Go on. No, I actually don't know it. You don't know it. Do you know it? Can you say the lyrics yeah, say again? It again? Jealousy, turning saints into the sea. Choking on your alibi. That's so wrong. That is the second that's, half that's, that's the second of half the next of line. So I can't give you that, but you boys have been given a clue. Kush is mute this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you might as well just put the Manscaped box up in front. Uh, just you know just plug yeah. the Manscaped as well. Just do that. Yeah, Manscaped will do a better job uh, of this game than you. Uh, Big hint, terrible. man, Sandy. I know, I, know, I know the song, man. I know the song. Just not to this level mm. of in-depth knowledge of the song where I've Analyze the lyrics. This is, you don't have to analyze the lyrics. This is the main chorus. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to tap out here. Alrighty. Can you get the full lyric? That's the only way you can get a point. 
Isn't it choking on your elbow? That's what I thought That's it was. That's the second, second part. Na, 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 na. <laughs> choking on your alibi. But, but it's just the product. I actually the rest of it. Exactly. <laughs> I need it no, at karaoke. No, 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 Jealousy turning saints into the sea swimming. I did not know that. Sick lullabies. Uh, did not know that. Choking on your alibis. So I will give that to you, Sen. You named mm. the song. Thank Half you. a point. Well I will take that. Kush, please get this next one. No, I want Kush to eat the. No, you should have told me this earlier. I would have taken it a bit more seriously. I'm fine. I can take chili. <laughs> oh, you haven't tried this one yet, brother. I'll probably die. <laughs> next lyric. You want me. I want you, baby. My sugar boo. I'm levitating. Shit, that's the only part of the song I know. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the only part of the song. Kush, I know. this is literally for you, brother. It's the only one I know. I'm out. Sue. Got Levitating. It. You could have gotten half a point. <laughs> Dua Lipa. No, you, you could have gotten half a point. <laughs> All right. Isn't it go? Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, you, <laughs> guys are getting you. This, you guys are getting the second half. Is that not the, the next I swear it goes straight There's to that part. There's a little bit and then there's that part. I you pass. Are, push. 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 This out. is, mate, this is your album. That's for I, you. I, I know one word. There's Moonlight. That is like later on the course. Oh. You want me, I want you, baby. My sugar boot, I'm levitating. The Milky Way, we're renegating. No. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. We're not yeah, having I want you all night. You're all my, I'll stop. <laughs> um, I forgot the score. Anyways, next, all I know it's is- Three, I'm on one, Kush is still on zero. Yeah. Thank you. All right, this one's for Kush and Sen only. <laughs> so you're too far ahead. Okay, okay. <laughs> next one. You're insecure, don't know what for. You got Always. this. You're turning heads when you walk through the door. Oh, oh. Christina, did you hear a buzzer? Sue! <laughs> <laughs> Insert that part in there. <laughs> That's uh, One Direction. Name of the song. <sighs> That's what makes you beautiful. Fantastic, Sunny. Well a point done. for you. Cushy. Still silent. Fire up the face buds, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, last one is worth 10,000 points. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kush. <laughs> so, there is a chance for you, Kush. <laughs> and it goes push and pee. I'm pushing pee. Push and pee. I'm pushing pee. <laughs> say, I yeah. fucking hate this song. That's not the next one. Cause the, next, oh, okay. the next line is push and, push and pee. I'm push and pee. <laughs> push and pee. It's I'm cool. push and pee. One of the worst songs I've heard in my life. All right, next last song, 10,000 points. Sorry, let me get that straight. It go right foot up, left foot slide. So oh, that's, that's all the, that's, all, that's the only part of that song I know. Uh, Sue, isn't that a Drake? Tootsie Slow, is that what it's called? It's a right. shit song as well. So that's 5,000 points if no one gets it. <laughs> I'm blanking. Can you, you see go it? right foot up, left foot slide. Mm-hmm. 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 Talk to underage girls. I don't know. What does Drake do? <laughs> Hot sauce in the condom. <laughs> <laughs> Hot sauce in the condom. No. I, I, the next line is so similar to the line I just said. Is it just a repeat? You go right one? foot up, left foot slide. It's not a repeat. Right foot. Is it left foot up, right foot slide? <laughs> oh, wow. Well and Sandy has won it with 10,002 well points. Well done. Let's go. <laughs> if this video, YouTube video gets one like, Kush will absolutely <laughs> eat this new hot sauce. Christina, mm -hmm. you're a woman. Yes, I am. And you like to have sex with men. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just say you have, you've seen penises. Do you prefer them nice and forest-like down there or do you like them clean shaved and well-groomed? Well-groomed, clean, neat. Beautiful. Well, with our friends at Manscaped, <laughs> wow. you too can also have a well-groomed penis. How convenient. Amazing. How convenient. Wow. Miguel, tell them about the Manscaped 4.0. Lads. Australian Autumn is here, and luckily the sponsors of today's show, as Senny said, Manscaped TM, are here to make sure the leaves are falling off your tree as smoothly Ooh. as possible. Their fourth generation performance package, which includes their signature Lawnmower 4.0, which Sen is holding up, and as well as their Weed Whacker, as Kush is mm -mm. kindly displaying for the boys. <laughs> Give it a show it close to the camera, Kush. In, the performance package includes both of those, which include. The Lawnmower 4.0, however, has all the tools equipped to keep you calm and collected through all weather uncertainty. Time to join the 4 million. Can you wow. believe it, Christina? Four, 4 million. million men worldwide 
who trust Manscaped TM by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus plus free shipping with the code plus TCB. Let me f- repeat that again. <laughs> One Manscaped's more time, just in case you missed it. Kush, yep. you go to manscaped.com. You put the performance package 4.0 in your oh. cart. Yep. You might want another, you know, lawnmower for maybe your dad, Done. your grandma, mm. your grandma, your dog, Done. your dog. You want have a weed in there. You, you know? want a weed whacker for your mom. Tell done. you know her nose hairs are a bit long. <laughs> done, done, done. Your card is adding up. Price because you're buying so much. You know, whilst each item is well priced, because you're buying so much, you might be thinking, <sighs> on top of shipping, like oh, it might be a bit much. But Boss. use code. Is a, they're asking for a code. You pop in three simple letters, Senny. T C. B. B. And wow, you just look at the total, go down 20%. 20%. You look at the, you look at the shipping. That's amazing. It says free. 20%. Not even $5, not 10. Free. Dude, you're paying 80% for 100% of the product. Wow. <laughs> but that product. And free shipping. And that Are you kidding me? Is unreal. Dude, I bought something the other day. The shipping was almost as much as the fucking product. So this is unreal that, that you're getting value. 20% and free shipping. That's outrageous. But I have to say, dude, the Manscaped, the Lomo 4.0, it is slick. It looks like my TV remote. It is beautiful. <laughs> Sandy's got to confuse sometimes. I, He's exactly. been shaving with the Samsung sometimes. And I'm like, oh shit, no, I want to watch, you know, the block on channel nine. I'm oh shit, I've accidentally shaved half my hair off. But you know what? I wanted to do that anyway. <laughs> exactly. Dude, so, I have to say it is very, very slick. It's got the LED lights as well. So, mm. you know, if you wake up one night and you're like, you know what? I forgot to shave my balls earlier today and you can't be bothered turning the light on. No need. You can do it in the dark, dude. This oh, thing wow. can light up a whole room. I swear to God. Say less. So let me repeat one more time. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code TCB at manscaped.com. That is 20% off and free shipping with the code TCB at manscaped.com. Watch the leaves fall and look down upon beautiful balls this autumn. Alrighty, fellas, we are back with our relationship segment, unsolicited, unqualified, and uncomfortable, as Senny is showing. We have (laughs) asked you guys for your relationship problems, stories. If you need advice, send it in. As we have our long-awaited relationship and love guru in-house, Christina, here to answer all your problems. Boys, we have had an overwhelming response, I must say. We have gotten a range of questions. So this segment could be 10 minutes. It could be three hours. Probably not because Kush doesn't want to edit three hours. <laughs> Let's begin. But we shall begin. The first one, these are all anonymous unless said otherwise because <laughs> That's good. some of these, you know, I don't oh, think they okay. want their name attached to it. Fair enough then. First one, what's the relationship Kush has with his Mo? <laughs> Is it healthy, toxic? And they ask for you to please explain extensively. It's, uh, it's healthy and it's, it's a little bit spicy. Love, hate? Oh, I wouldn't say there's any hate. I would say it's passionate. It's just love. Well, how about when you shaved it off? Was there a bit of resentment there? That was, well, there's a reason why I brought it back in a more expansive way. <sighs> back and better than it ever. It was guilt. It was guilt when I shaved <laughs> it off. <laughs> All right. A very healthy relationship. Anyways, the first question of the day. How to deal with being cheated on? So you're in your relationship. Your missus goes out said, and she gets absolutely dicked on by... I'm six foot four. <laughs> Absolutely, Adonis. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm glad Nicole clarified the definition yeah, of cheating. <laughs> very aggressive there. Um, <laughs> actually, let's take that seriously. There are two ways of cheating, I believe: emotional and physical. Yeah. Do you believe mm-hmm. in both? It's not like Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it, it's no, a some thing. people I might not believe in emotional cheating. You never know. I think that's worse than okay, I, it's hmm. maybe not worse, but it's definitely up there. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, Should we tackle a two prong, twofold, or is it the same? I think it's all the both? same. It's all the same. How do you deal with it, Sen? Well, I know Kush's answer will be the petty response, and you know what, what? go fuck her mom Cheat or something. Back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or take her, <laughs> take her around the back, hire a mafia hit. <laughs> it's exactly what Kush would say. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've never, thankfully, never been in this like scenario. So I don't actually know how to like tackle this question in a mature way. Do so ask the guru. Maybe we ask the guru. <laughs> how would one, what's the, what's the mature way? way of handling this? Just don't get cheated on. Again, not, let's say that's not an option because it's been cheated on. It's done. It's out of our hands most it's of the happened. time. So <laughs> unless you help them cheat on you. So <laughs> that's just called cuckoldry. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's a whole other segment we have. Mm-hmm. So what would you do? I think communication is always the key. So you'd want to ask your partner why they did that. I think cheating a lot of the time reflects 
um, issues in the individual rather than your partner who got cheated on. Mm. Wow. What yeah. An so you would can, you want them to tell you, or are you going to have to do some sleuthing, some Sherlock Holmes to thing, find I, out that they I, cheated? I think it goes both ways. So some people feel so guilty. They'll be like, "Send, look, I've done this. I'm sorry." Is that better or worse? If they've owned up to it. That's better than oh, you finding yeah. out. Yeah. Honestly. They feel something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, does that make you want to forgive them or are you a one strike and you're out? Like if you get cheated on, that's it. One's done. Mm-hmm. Thankfully also have never been cheated on, but I don't know. I think if there is a scale of like forgiveness, someone owning up to it and being honest would push you towards the forgiveness side. Rather than I think that's a healthy response. I feel like yeah, I would be like, so that's it. One try, you're you'd out, dude. It'd be too yeah. much. You know? I think it would be too much. No, I, I think no it's too much too. In this like process, would you bring out a, a ranged assault rifle? Or <laughs> <laughs> no? Pistol, maybe. <laughs> bring out the knife. <laughs> we don't condone domestic violence here at Critical <laughs> Data. I just want to put that out there. But yeah, I, I'm just a, you know, if you've done me dirty once, that's it. Yeah. One and done. done. One and done. Because then, you know, what, what's to say they won't do it again? Exactly. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Do you believe that? I do kind of believe that to be mm. honest. Would you date someone that has cheated in their past? No. They haven't cheated mm. on you, but they have. What if they've changed so much? What if they've gone through- What do they say? A leopard never changes its spots. Mm. Is that sure. what it is? Maybe. A tiger never changes that. its stripes. I think it might be that actually. <laughs> but yeah, I just think, you know, I don't know. If they've done it before, they'll do it again. You know, what do they say? 90% of serial killers do like kill more than one. So same with cheaters. You know, if you've done it once, you're going to do it again. Fair mm-hmm. enough. Don't cheat, basically. Isn't yeah, it? just don't cheat. Yeah. And if you don't be with a cheater, is also our advice. <laughs> yep. But again, that's out of your hands. <laughs> All righty. Next one. Should couples communicate everything with each other? Are partners allowed to have secrets? So, guru. <laughs> I'm looking at Sen and he's- Yeah, you're looking at me. Still processing the question. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm trying to think. And then Kush is going to come out with some sort of fucking mass genocide. <laughs> so before we get to that- I say it's okay to keep secrets. What secrets though? That's a good question. But I think there are things where you don't like, maybe you're not comfortable telling the other person. Obviously start shit like if you're cheating, fucking, you know, tell them. <laughs> but no, I think there's definitely st- stuff where it would be okay to keep to yourself. Like if it's like a like family related, for example. Yeah. But and maybe partner- you're not comfortable sharing it. So maybe there, I think it's okay. But if it's stuff like, yeah, hey, I bought a $80,000 car maybe you should tell the especially if you're like living together and like yeah we can't afford rent yeah exactly (laughs) i sold one of our kids to buy a gun (laughs) (laughs) i wanted a ranged assault rifle so i sold little timmy (laughs) on the black market i hope that's okay so no that obviously shit like that if it's serious i think you should probably be telling each other but i think if it's stuff where you're maybe not ready to talk about it yet i think it'd be okay to just hold back on it for now I think you make a good point. Like if you're not ready, then you don't have to tell them yet. But I think with a partner, you should feel like safe and comfortable with them. They're kind of like your family as well. So yeah, I believe in open communication, just communicating everything where you feel comfortable. Mm. Or maybe if it's something about your partner, you should also tell them like, oh, hey, I think you (laughs) I think you might have to to bleep that part out. (laughs) Could you just bat it? He looked at the timestamp to make sure you know something <laughs> fucking boring. You'll know where it is where everyone just spikes You're up. You're getting a bit aggressive with the with the, the yeah. curse words. I gotta say these past few episodes. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you think you know something about like they walk weirdly, just tell them. You know, yeah. don't don't keep that. Don't in. keep it a is that secret. Personal, like, yeah. You've been keeping it. No, no. That was the first thing I could think of. That's like, something I'd keep a secret. Sen. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I would tell him if you guys walked like weirdos, I'd be like, dude, you walk, you walk like a you creep. You walk weird. Wonky. You have a wonky walk. I'm telling you. So long term, you're saying you should be comfortable with everything. To, you should get to a point. Not you, Sen. Sorry, the guru. Yeah. Yeah, but I are think you so. Are you saying, Sen, there might be some things that you never tell ever? What if you've, you know, mass like a uh, massive gambling debt? You're <laughs> you meant to tell, to tell them. Your partner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, you know, theoretically. <laughs> so in this hypothetical that. world, someone <laughs> we might or might not know. <laughs> Let's just say they'll only find out when the mafia comes to like break my kneecaps. But until then, I think, would you want to know if your partner has like a massive yes. gambling debt? Fair enough then. <laughs> I have some calls to make. <laughs> <laughs> some debts to- <laughs> so Sandy, you're saying maybe secrets. Yeah, maybe. Like guru's saying- Never. No. Or like should get to uh, a point where I think it's healthy to keep some secrets. Bound healthy boundaries. Exactly. Fair enough. Mm. Alrighty, we have got a long story here. Strap in. Here we go. <laughs> it's from November 2021, so 
Okay. We're, fin- <laughs> we're finally getting to you. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> and this story goes, fellas. All right, gents, I've got a relationship advice story and I'd like if you use a fake name, but honestly, I don't care all that much. Well, we won't humanize you. Call like him that. Bradley. Call him Bradley. Bradley writes, during the summer, my girlfriend played a joke on me. Joke is in quotation marks. So who knows what this is? It was a TikTok trend where you tell your partner you kiss someone for a Slurpee. What a fucking rogue <laughs> trend that is. Mm. <laughs> but I can see where that goes. I got pissed and she acted like she didn't think I'd get that mad. And eventually we'd kind of just brush it under the rug. It's been a while since then. And I d- I'm not sure what to do because it's still causing issues. What should I do? We've been together two and a half years, by the way. I said this got sent in in November. He sent an update in December. I forgot to add some context. I have been cheated on by multiple different women in the past. Mm-hmm. And she was aware of this, if that changes anything. <laughs> That's such a sad update. He was thinking about it for a month. I didn't mean to laugh. I didn't mean to laugh. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize to Bradley. Sorry, Bradley. I'm so sorry. (laughs) He laughed at his face. Still laughing. It's pretty funny though. The way he went at multiple many women. (laughs) (laughs) All right. At some point, maybe you have to look at yourself, Bradley. (laughs) Why do these women keep cheating on me? So the longer the short of the story is, Bradley's history has been cheated on by multiple women on many different occasions. And then his current girlfriend as a trend said she cheated on him in a way Mm. or something as small as a Slurpee, but it was a joke. And he got mad, which is understandable. Absolutely understandable. I would hope she said, you know, it's just a prank, bro. Yeah. (laughs) Showed her the cameras in the bushes. It's just a prank. And I think he's still mad. And he's, you know, mulling over it. What do you know? The past is coming up. PTSD. I think that's all it is. I think it's the just- The NAM mm. flashbacks are coming of getting cheated on. In his own words, he's been done dirty so many times that, you know, even joking about it probably triggers him. So that's probably why he's upset. But just, you know, as a prank on its own, what do we think of that? Just like saying, you know, telling your partner that you kiss someone for a Slurpee. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dumb prank. To, like, would you believe it? I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't believe it. I don't. I think the normal person wouldn't believe it. No, yeah. it depends, but depends. What happens if it's a slopey day where you get the massive bring your own bucket? And it's forty degrees out. Maybe Celsius. That is. Mm. I mean, how much is a slopey these days? <laughs> Two bucks. Free. A dollar. Large. Exactly. So if you're, you know, the price of if your lips is a dollar. If your lips and another man for a dollar. That's red flags in itself. Mm. <laughs> it's just the update. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, look, I understand why he's annoyed. Um, but why I don't is think it it's a, get over it, lol. I think it is a get over it, lol. I really do. Unless this has happened before, like she's just constantly joking about cheating on me. <laughs> it's, it's funny that he's been cheated on. Yeah. He's you. Yeah. He's you. <laughs> just a subliminal hint. Please understand that I'm cheating. On you. That's what it is. Christina, yeah. what should he do? Um, I think if you're in the TikTok realm, you'll be familiar with like all these trends and jokes yeah. and pranks. So in the context of that, it's a joke and she doesn't mean it. Mm. So it's fine. Forgive her. Hope you guys are still together. Yeah. And just, yeah, all you have to do is just like tell her, like, fuck, don't do that, bro. I'm mm-hmm. in the heat of the moment, get upset. That's fine. Yeah. Like, you know, after a while, she's deep that it's. Was he saying, like, when December, when he gave us the update, was he still upset a month later? Yeah, that's I what I was so, saying. Because he's mulled on it and sent it in. <laughs> he's given us some more context yeah. about his past. <laughs> Right. Thought about it for a month and then here's an update. He, he actually messaged us again in March. Or he's given us a One girl off. in 2017 gave me a, a rabies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this helps the story. <laughs> so what's our advice? Get over it. I think, yeah, just tell her, you know, that's not a vibe and mm. just get over it. Guess and hope she doesn't do it again. I think that actually Guess might- Get therapy, honestly. Unironically. Actually. Unironically, maybe. Boys, we got an update. Oh, we actually oh, did. There oh. you go. It's <gasps> April- oh. Oh, he's so triple texted. <laughs> we got triple texted on the last Sunday, November, December, April. So this has been going on for five months. Go on. Update on the relationship advice I asked for forever ago. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry, again, we're sorry. <laughs> we broke up. Oh, oh. did so he did he give any maybe, context? Yeah, that was Anything? It. That's that it. Was it. Maybe he got over it. Maybe he did it. You know. Maybe something else. You know what? I actually I'm now invested in this up. You know, if what's his name, Bradley, if you're there, please let us know what happened. Was it because of this prank or did something else did happen? Did she actually cheat on you or? Did she happened? get the Slurpee? <laughs> <laughs> she came home one day with a Slurpee and fucking triggered. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks at all 7-Elevens now and just starts like <laughs> convulsing. Anyway, he needs we, we would like an update, maybe get some therapy <laughs> and get over it is our advice. <laughs> Next user submission. What is the best way to meet people outside of dating apps? Push. Yep. I'll throw this one to you. Don't know why. I don't know. Maybe just go out. 
This is that simple. Leave your house. I think it is actually just that simple. No, but what's going up? Go out to As the in, street meant, like, and go for a walk. Bars, clubs, stuff like that. Yeah, but am I going to a bar on my own sitting there? Yeah, you can. You can. I don't see no issue. It probably won't work. No, but that's why we need to find the meta way <laughs> of getting this most effective available tactic. I would say, yeah, you go, to, go out with your- Four, your two, three, one formation. <laughs> <laughs> Full backs and stay back. In my opinion, I think you would have to go out with maybe just one or two- I think we need to give cushion mode. <laughs> Ultra attacking. <laughs> anyway, please. It's FIFA banter. If you must know. It's so niche. Just don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Um, Pick and roll. I think I've always said the best way is to meet people through other people. So I like get your mm-hmm. friends to set yeah. you up. But as well, like Chris said, maybe you can go out, go out with like maybe a few of the boys and just see if they can set you up as well. Run a few plays and then see what magic happens. I don't think going out by yourself, like if I see a mysterious guy sitting by himself at a bar, I'm not even going anywhere near him. Yeah, that's the male perspective. What is the... Yeah. Female perspective. You know. I feel like that is so different, like the male perspective. So if I'm trying to meet a guy or like, are we giving advice for a guy to meet a girl? Both. Just in general. Yeah. Both. Um, we'll give both sides. But preferably from, you know, a female perspective from you, that would be good. Yeah. I feel like even walking around in the city, sometimes guys can just approach you. <laughs> Fuck, it's as easy as that. Just walk. <laughs> yeah, just walk. Just stand there in Wait, the city. Wait, what do you mean, like, dude? So like someone will just randomly come up to you? Yeah, like I'm standing next to QVB just on my phone or yeah. on the phone and then some guy can be like, hey, like, sorry to bother you, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like you guys can try that tactic as but well. Does that work? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It could work sometimes. Has it, any, has it worked on any of your friends or anything? Have you seen it work? Yeah. Really? Like so just randomly are, just annoying a person on, like on the street. Like they're yeah. minding their own business and I'm going up to them. What am I saying? Like You're what's like, the guy saying? Um, Hey, like, sorry, I thought you were really pretty. Like, can, and then you just make some small conversation for a little bit and then ask if you want to get a coffee and ask for a number. It's that simple. Yeah, just have confidence, big dick energy. <laughs> what if you don't have a. Yeah, let's say we have a. Hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> Small dick energy. Because if you're writing into a podcast asking for this help, you probably don't have that mm. kind of confidence. So what would you, what's some alternatives? I agree with what you said. I think meeting friends through friends. Yep. Um, I don't know, I guess club and bar, but then you really have to weed out like the people who aren't looking for a relationship. So how do you specify that? If I'm on a dance floor in a club yeah. and they're playing Rack City, how am I, I going to specify to you that I am looking for a relationship <laughs> and not a hookup? You don't dance the parts where they're talking about fucking bitches. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you dance respectfully. the more committal. Yeah. I take a knee for that part. Exactly. <laughs> you, look, you look disgusted by the fact yeah. that you hook up you someone. You spit on the floor, Seth. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, but yeah, I would imagine most people who go out to clubs and bars are looking for just the easy hookups. Yeah, exactly. No, what I've read is like you go and do a hobby, for example. So you find like-minded people, with yeah. common interests, and then that's where you meet people. Mm. It's like that a vibe. So if I'm playing like ultimate frisbee, yeah, you join the local ultimate. ultimate frisbee. I believe in that. And then you meet just people in the circle. You know, let's say hypothetically you're into movies and yeah. stuff like that. You join a movie club or something like that. What if like-minded people there? So let's say Kush when he goes on his afternoon walks and he's, <laughs> when he's not dodging dogs, is he like? Should he be just seeing other people randomly walking on the street? Well, if, like- he, if he was a woman, apparently people come to him on his walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's very, uh, you know what? Can we try with you, Kush? We well, find- What do you want me to do? We'll go out to the city. We'll find a nice girl and you go up to her and you'll be like, I think you're really pretty. Should I shave? <laughs> uh, I feel like I should. <laughs> with the Manscaped 4.0, maybe. <laughs> Just oh, in preparation. Very nice. Very, very nice. nice. There we go. But uh, I am actually interested to try this because I don't personally believe that it works. I don't. Yeah. I'm skeptical. I'm highly skeptical. I'm very skeptical. Oh, what do you think, Kush? Do you think I that- think it's a very low ROI maneuver. Mm. Your return on investment is so poor on that. High risk? But no, there's mm. no risk. Like it's a stranger. Like worst comes worst, you say no. But I think you'd have to ask at least. Wait, if you ask hundred girls, you're probably only getting what? I reckon four, five, five. Exactly. Yeah, I think five percent. It's not worth my time, bro. <laughs> what, what percentage are you looking for? Don't say hundred. No, I'm not, I'm not anything more than at least ten to twenty. Yeah. So what is a ten to twenty percent activity? Well, this person said not the apps, right? Yeah. I would say the apps would probably give you a good. If you're a good looking rooster, you can probably mm. get a decent percentage on the apps. So I think we're hype in this hypothetical story, we're saying something that's not good on the apps. Then, you know, good luck to you. No, that's what I said. You <laughs> get your friends to set you up is what I would say. I think it's a tried and tested method. We have got another story. We've got a lot of stories to say, so here's another one. How do you feel about your partner going to a festival without you? There's there's more to that, but that is the overriding question. Mm. Mull that question. 
They replied to our story. Okay, wait. So I sent a question on the story, but there was a word count limit. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that just funny? Bro? <laughs> Let me elaborate. She says, we're a COVID couple met in Singapore during lockdown on a dating app. Things were fine till two years pass and the world is opening up again. He's back on business trips. We're spending time apart for the first time. Next minute. All right. Coachella. He has booked tickets since before COVID with his college mates. It just feels like a lot for me to take in, being away from work and traveling for festivals. But back before COVID, this sort of thing was normal. I don't know. I'm just having a difficult time to adjust in a weird way. I'm happy for things opening back up, but what do you guys think? By the way, I told my boyfriend, Arnold, I'm uncomfortable with him going to Coachella, but he still went. So this was booked before they were even together. I believe he has booked Coachella tickets before they were together. And then now- Open and shut case then. Now he is gone without her. Sounds like a That's you fine. problem, right? Yeah, it right. sounds like- Sounds like a very big you problem. Sounds like she's projecting her insecurities. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like it's, it's just a music else. festival. If you trust that he's gonna behave himself and just have fun, listen to music, maybe take some light narcotics, that's fine. Like there's nothing wrong with that. But then to like immediately be like, no, you can't go. You're already like, that's already, you're being suspicious of him for no reason. And also he bought it before you guys were together. Dude, those tickets are fucking expensive. Yeah. Just for that alone, dude, <laughs> just the monetary value. I'd be like, go dude, enjoy, have a good time. You better fucking go. Yeah, you better go dude. Cause I'd be, yeah. So yeah, that's where I stand. And also like, where do you draw the line? Like you wait, you can't go music festivals like without taking the other person. You can't go movies. You can't go brothels. Like at what point do we draw a line? Exactly, you know, fine activities. These are things you can do without the other person. So that's where I stand. I would that. like I more context on this. Like, did she want to go with him? Was that mm. maybe the vibe? Like, you know, we're together now, maybe extend an invite. I'm sure that's probably come up. Yeah, could she go? I, I think it might be sold out. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah maybe hard to get tickets. It's hard so. to get tickets, expensive. Mm. But hard to know. get time off work. If he put in some sort of effort, yeah. He said tickets sold out, that's a shut case. Exactly. It's sold out. Mm. What is he meant to do? Sell his ticket now? Yeah, you exactly. can't go? Yeah. That's outrageous. Yeah, you wouldn't want to, yeah, exactly. You wouldn't be like to the other person, like sell your tickets, don't go stay with me. I would feel bad. Yeah. That's what his college mates, right? That's what the- Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The boy, mm. probably the boys. It's, I think it's not, fair game. Not random women from the street. <laughs> so, that's fine. How do we feel about the PS part? I told my boyfriend I'm uncomfortable and he still went. I uncomfortable as in how? Like what's she uncomfortable yeah. about? Well, she never that's said, an right? issue. We didn't get that context yeah. of the story, but is there, is there, a reason to be uncomfortable that he then shouldn't go. Is that what we're saying? The co- the reason why she's uncomfortable is important. You're allowed to say you're uncomfortable and he's also allowed to be like, lol, okay. And he's allowed to yeah. go as well. I think it, it, both are okay, but I don't know. I, I think that, what is she? Yeah, I just wanna know what she's uncomfortable about. Mm. It's hard to say without knowing that much. I think if she communicates with him, like what she's uncomfortable with, he can then do his bit to reassure her. Like, mm. don't worry, like I'm not going to do this, this. And she'll be like, okay, cool. And then go have fun. Yeah. I think you just go outside, touch some grass. <laughs> touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> all righty. Our advice is touch grass. <laughs> what to do when your partner gets angry? Oh. <sighs> Sandy, let's say you're a man. <laughs> you know, you've stayed out too late one night on a Friday night. You've yeah. come home at- 2 a.m., not yeah. 12 midnight, you know. It intoxicated, let's say. It intoxicated so. and your partner- Thanks, Kush. Partner gets the shoe out. <laughs> <laughs> partner my mum. And the shoves chandler. it up your ass <laughs> in anger. You know. uh, nah, general question. What do you do when your partner's angry? You know, you're having a bit of an argument and she's, he slash she is getting angry, like anger. Love Guru, what do you think? I think it really depends on the relationship dynamic, like what he's like what's the best way to calm him down? Like some people need space, some people need like comfort. So really depends what works for him. It's a pretty vague question. Why him or her? Oh. So it depends on, you know, whatever scenario this is, but I agree. Yeah. I think it really just does depend. Mm-hmm. Some people just like to talk it out and some people just like to yeah. just keep their distance, mm-hmm. like maybe a few hours away from each other and yeah. everyone will calm down and get over it. Fair. But. Push any weapons involved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When you get angry, just just don't be angry, lol. Yeah, <laughs> just simple. don't get just angry. Say, calm say down. <laughs> All right, so relax. When you get angry. How it's do so you easy. how do you calm yourself? Just down? breathe. <laughs> You'll be fine. That's bro. it. You yeah. you you're like a. No, I've never gotten that angry. You know, I've no, never that you're, angry. Let's say your relationships are you're with the boys, right? Yeah. Say Sen pisses you off. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, it's because it's Sen. Yeah, in you're the context just, that it's Sen. I'm mm. clocking him. I'm yeah. sending him around. <laughs> that is true. Like if he's with the boys, you're telling him they're a fuckwit. Yeah. Uh, 
but it's different when you're in a relationship. You can't be calling your partner a fuckwit. <laughs> or can you? Unless that is your kind of relationship. Yeah. Right? Yeah, in which case, that's pretty fun. That'd be cool. Mm. But I think, yeah, I think it's very situational based. You calm your partner down is basically what we're saying. I, ideally, <laughs> you don't yeah. want to keep- Rile them, them up. up. Exactly. <laughs> that's fucking the worst case scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what kind of t- advice are you give? <laughs> I just ask questions. All right, we've got another story here. All right, and they write, I was dating someone, but we broke up, but we're still seeing each other as friends. And I guess it's currently a situationship. That's a new word I feel that's come up these days. I've heard it a few times in the last few weeks. Yeah, fair. The continue, the story goes, hella confused as to whether I should just stay because I love this guy, but he doesn't love me back. <laughs> Bro, you're friends, you shouldn't love him. <laughs> I cry a lot thinking about having to leave, even though it hurts because I think it's, because I truly think it's fate that him and I are back in each other's lives because I met him back when I was in year eight and had the biggest crush on him and then reconnected on Tinder. So my understanding is they dated each other, broke up, went their separate ways, but then on Tinder, they've mashed again. We're currently not speaking right now because I accidentally scratched his car <laughs> as I opened the door and he's a car guy. So he's really upset with me. <laughs> story <laughs> but he's really funny and helps me fix my car <laughs> what should i do what the fuck I, was I don't that even know where to begin with that sorry but what the fuck was I, that dude this person is all over the place um I, situation ship first what is that i've someone tried to explain it to me the other week and to be honest i do in between friends and a relationship i believe so you're in that, it's like, just a situation no i wouldn't say that i would say more than that i think yeah. Like there's emotions involved. Yeah, like there's mm. actually a connection there. Like it's, you're in that limbo stage. And that's both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay. I think everyone acknowledges like that it's in that kind of in-between phase. Look, I, I don't know. There was a lot going on in that story. I don't know where to begin. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? Was there a question in all this? What should she do about this this man? Pay for his car, firstly. I think out of just respect mm. to the car. <laughs> she says, I cry a lot thinking about having to leave. So she doesn't want to leave. But didn't she mm. say he doesn't love him? He doesn't love her, sorry? But no. it's fate. It's fate that That's they're reconnected. Red <laughs> big red flag. <laughs> Believing in fate. Yeah, I think so. Mm. No, I agree. Like, he's funny, but fixes my car. Like, my mechanic can do that <laughs> too. Like, <laughs> I'm not in love with him. Yeah, <laughs> 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 but he's funny than the mechanic. <laughs> yeah, look. I'm kind of getting scared of this this person. She kind of seems a bit unhinged to me. Now nah, leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Yeah. Leave advice. him alone. I think. No. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's clearly not into you, and mm. you're trying to force something. No, that's but not it's not happening. like they're, they're But back she up. loves him. Love and conquers she, all. She even admitted that he doesn't love her back. Yeah. Surely that's end of story right there. Yeah. Now nah, know your worth. Leave him. Doesn't matter if you connected on Tinder and you had a crush on him and yay. So fate's not real. No, she's just trying to force fate there. Is connecting on Tinder really like a fate? Yeah. Thing? Yeah. That's yeah algor- but she enough. had to swipe on him and he swiped on her. That's, like, that's just the algorithm, bro. That's like if people find us <laughs> yeah. on TikTok, that's not fate, bro. No, we're just- not fucking you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not fair. Maybe. <laughs> Push. <laughs> so I'm saying leave her. Leave her. All right. We have one more story for today and it goes. So I have a friend who's liked only this one guy for the longest time and isn't able to like anyone else. She wants to date or sleep with him, but I think she has. he has a girlfriend now. She's respectful of that and hasn't made a move, but what should she do to put herself in the best position to get what she wants? So essentially, Hang on. What, what so is essentially question? the question is how to get a guy to sleep with you without directly asking. For context, this guy was pretty easy to get with and he was on a popular reality TV show. Oh, Ooh. this person is asking us how to break up. So it's a girl. What the fuck? <laughs> I said how to sleep with him at all costs. Is that what you not said? No, how to get a guy to sleep with you without directly asking. Exactly, it's asking. a question for you guys. But without guy, directly asking. <laughs> but the guy some- is in a relationship. <laughs> mm. Look, I, you know, this is very murky. She's it's asking not, us to break not, him up. It's not, yeah, it's asking him to break him up. It's yeah. not what the other thing I said. <laughs> it's, a, it's a maneuver that we, one of our friends is well versed in, but we'll not. But they say yeah. too much well, about I don't that. know. How strong is their relationship going? Well, she doesn't say, right? Doesn't say girlfriend is what's said. I would assume that that's an official statement. Because that maneuver only works if that relationship's not going strong. You know mm. what I mean? So what's this maneuver? You won't say too much on air. 
This is oh. a zone that's around there, but <laughs> um, we, we will tell you off air. Mm-hmm. But I think she, I think she wants to pull the maneuver because it's not going to nothing. Let's put it clear: nothing is going to happen when the relationship is happy. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, or, and morally, you shouldn't do anything. Exactly, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But let's say it gets to a point where the relationship is rocky, and the maneuver can start to be pulled. Yeah, then you position yourself to be there when it all does go tits up. Mm. And to pick up the pieces so that you want to be close, but not too close. But I don't condone trying to break up people. So I'm going to not say any further on this. Because <laughs> yeah, this person is basically asking, how can we break up two happily people in a, ma- in a relationship? Who says say they're happy? It's inevitably going to break up, right? You, you, you are not breaking it up. It's going to break up whether you do anything or not. You just want to be first reserve. It's fate, dude. They're going to break up. It's fate. <laughs> <laughs> it's fate. It's fate. <laughs> You just want to be well placed, you know. Yeah. Okay. Fine. If you let's say they break up and you had nothing to do with it, because it's, it's either going to be you, board, it's going to either be you or someone else. You want to mm. be that person. So how are you going to best position yourself for success, yeah. then? What should a girl do? It's like what? preparing for an interview. You know, how do you position yourself against other candidates? Well, I actually don't know to be honest. Uh, I've never <laughs> been in this position. And I never want to be in this position. But shoulder to cry on. It's the shoulder to cry on. You want to be there. You want to be the emotional support. You want to be like, hey, is everything okay? You know, is is so and so? You know, is everything going okay? Mm-hmm. But you don't want to seem like you're breaking. But you don't want to overstep your mark. You just want to be, you know, very at an arm's length range to them. You, you don't, don't want to come in all direct and exactly. say, "Geez, trash, break up." Exactly, because that's, that's too aggressive. That's way aggressive. too aggressive. You just want to be neutral. You want to be yeah. like Switzerland, World War Two. You just want to sit there, <laughs> and you just want to be on the winning side at the end. <laughs> so that's why yeah, you can't go in guns blazing. You got to mm. kind of just watch from the sideline a bit, suss the vibes. You got to be the one that was there when everything else was turning on. Exactly, because when you know when they're at their lowest point, th- who they'll remember? They'll remember the person who was there, you know, helping mm-hmm. them, comforting them. And so, yeah, that's where you want to be. But again, I don't condone any of this. So let's say you're now positioned there. How does she make him want to fuck her? Basically, the question. <laughs> well, then that's up. You know, that's up to her from there. Because it's without directly asking. <laughs> that's what they're asking us, Any. <laughs> they want to ask us. So, what's your take on it? Yeah, I, I just hear- ask the questions. I, <laughs> I want to hear your opinions on this, love guru. How do you get a guy to fuck you without asking him? I've never had to experience that. Let's mm. say, has any of your girlfriends or what's the way to do this? I think straight up ask, but then that's not what the question's asking. <laughs> well, are we saying for a guy to do without directly asking? You just ask. I think so. You know, if you want to get things in life, all you have to do is yeah. just ask. If or- Kush, a girl came up to you mm. and was like, Kush, Daddy, I'm I want to yes. fuck you. I'm saying yes. Just a daddy. Stop. Yes. <laughs> Stop. So the directly asking is in fact a great way to go about it, is what we're saying. Yes. Why can't just women do that? Just say what you they want can. and we'll understand and do it. Just don't, a, don't play these mind games with us. But if a man went up to a girl, are we still saying do the direct method? Nah, it's a bit weird then. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> What's the more nuanced way? Hey, do you want to come over and see my dog? Exactly. It's something like that. You, you know, you invite him over. You have to have a dog now. Fuck. You got to have some. I think I want to come over and see my PS5. I feel like this was a How I Met Your Mother thing where the naked man. Like, no, he had like a goldfish. Did he? So the MO was always come up and see my goldfish. Oh, right. And then you do the naked man. And then you do the, don't do the naked man. <laughs> naked woman though. Dude, the naked, naked woman, woman is one hundred percent successful. <laughs> that is one hundred percent successful. There's never once in the history of mankind where a guy's been presented with a naked woman and he's turned that down. Wow. So I think you know, run an ISO. Yeah, for clear sure. out, clear you out. Know, get somehow get one on one time, one on one time in a private spot. Ideally, a house in the vicinity of a bed. Exactly. Maybe a car. A car could work. Car, uh, but it's easier with the bed. Ideally, get him to stay over. That sort of. Oh no, you just need to invite him up. And then come, give them the come hither vibes, the come hither looks, <laughs> in one of these ones, and then lure them into your bedroom, and lure. then lock them up and chain them, <laughs> and then Jeez. have your way with them. Exactly. And he might be into that. <laughs> he might actually be into that. So. so it's a really simple answer, really. It is. Invite them up, and then make your intentions known. Exactly. All right. It's that simple. Too easy. We have one last quick one. Hello, my girlfriend's dog died yesterday of old age. Any tips in comforting? I'm terrible at it. Why did I want to laugh? Buy a new dog. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so someone say buy a new dog. Someone say laugh. Maybe Kush will have the most reasonable advice this time. What would you do, Kush? I'm, I'm baffled. So wait, was this a relationship question? What was it? Well, I mean, it's, was- a, it's relationship. Because I have a feeling Adjacent. if you don't 
comfort the dead dog properly. That could be the relationship. Comfort the dead dog. <laughs> bro, the dead dog. Whoa. The dog's okay. gone, bro. <laughs> 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 you comfort the person. How do you wish. deal with grief, Kush? Me? Yeah. Just, just don't cry. Do you, are you a crier? No. Nah. Yeah, let's, let's throw back to when Warzone had that update and mm. just you know, ruined your favorite guns and- you know, you're, you're in that grieving period of- fuck, Move on, to. move on. You find move a new on. new placement. That, that, wow, that's a great analogy there. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, it really worked. <laughs> so we, you found a new game. We did, we found a new, so what, a new so game. What, so I said buy him a new dog. But like- Maybe not that. You're finding something similar, a similar vibe. A cat. That's what you're doing. Whatever you want. It doesn't have to be a pet. Something that brings you Just similar fills that to the dog. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. So you're basically saying replace it and don't make peace with it. No, but you, you make peace with it. You make peace with it. You're plugging, you hit, you're plug- you hit the uninstall button and then- You're plugging you the hole. You're not co- You're not solving the yeah, root issue. Push those feelings down, dude. Let it come out in other ways. <laughs> and then just, yeah, just- <laughs> Push it down it. until you die. Yeah, exactly. You'll never have to deal Jesus with it. Jesus Christ. Just die, lol. Is that, is that your advice then? <laughs> what? Yeah, so I think it just depends on how this person deals with grief. Are you, how would you like to be comforted in time? How, how do you? Are you a crier? Mm, like you're a big yeah, crier. yeah, yeah. You're right. Um, I reckon hit him with the classic, don't worry, it's in a better place right now. It's- it. Like don't, mom, I don't want to assume dad. it's gender. Mm. They. Yeah. Mm. They. They. Respect. They're in de- they're in a better place now. Does that work? Has I'm anyone just, ever told you that and you've ever That sounds that's, kind of condescending sometimes. No, yeah. people say if, that. If it ends at that, then fuck off. As in like, was my place not good enough? What happens if you don't believe in religion? Like, that's where the fuck they're well. gone? Um, they're six feet under. They're not in a better place. They're covered in dirt. <laughs> I've ne- yeah, I've never understood that they're in a better place. Especially, yeah, for a non-religious like person who doesn't believe in an afterlife. Right. Like, so what would you say then? Just like in that case. It's dead low. Get Did, over it. <laughs> Did it die of old age? Old age. Yeah, then, you know, then you give- It's right, it is what it is, right? It's life. It's yeah. life. It's lived it's full, it's life. It had a good, we had to die life. as well. It's all good. Exactly. It had a good <laughs> life. Just you- remember, you're going to die. So <laughs> yeah. It happens to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> happens to the best of us. Just go through an existential crisis. You'll be right. That's all it is. All righty. We have answered a lot of your problems. If there are any, after hearing this expert advice, especially from me saying Kush, <laughs> if you'd like any, any does have to be relationship related. Oh, we'll take anything. Any advice, if you have also had just a story, we'd love to read it, send it in, add Critical Banter, Instagram, TCB Appreciation Society. If you oh, send messenger. it in there, messenger. Email. Email, Kush's personal Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Kush's address, which is <laughs> Send it in there. Alrighty, welcome to the end of the episode. Great, thank you for coming on, Christina. That was very insightful, I think, maybe. <laughs> a lot of lot of advice and stories were sent in and I feel like- Whether we, or not we, the advice was good. Our advice wasn't good. Yeah, that's The true. guru's advice, chef's kiss. Thank you. Kush only named three Warzone guns today, so I thought that was very <laughs> amount of restraint over there. <laughs> but as per usual, please join the TCB Appreciation Society. Um, and as always, give us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We're still 69 ratings on the Apple Podcasts. It is a great number, but I would like to see that number go up. As Ray had said, let's get that at 420. Exactly. Let's get that up there. Um, Spotify, you guys are just doing work. We're up to 104, boys. Wow. It's going up at least by five or six every week. So let's keep pumping those up. And obviously another plug. What you're hearing is the delightful dulcet tones of the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. So always check out Manscaped as well. Christina, uh, what do you want to plug? Um, manscaped.com. Use code TCB wow. for 20% off and free shipping. 20% off and free shipping. I just can't get over it. Oh, it's unreal. And what you can't see is Kush behind the camera with a gun to her head. <laughs> 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 But yes, if you would, no, no, you're not bypassing the part. She's our guru. If you want advice yes. from her, you have to go through us. But if you'd mm-hmm. like to find her elsewhere, her link is in our description. Whilst you're in description, all our episodes, our links, if you want to see us, we're Absolutely. there. All our podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all links are there as well. Locks Beats mm. is also in our description. So wow. that beautiful music you hear between segments, he's also in the description. Yeah, so go, can, go show him some love. Go show him well. some. Tell him we send you actually. Let's see where, where that takes us because he hasn't replied to our DMs. Buy him a Manscaped and send him one as well if exactly. you really want to show exactly. him some love. We'll see you next week. <laughs>